This is Pastor Steve here coming to you for with our uh, message of hope. And uh, as you can see in our yard, we are doing a little yard cleaning on this uh, wondrous Monday afternoon. You'll be seeing this Tuesday morning, but it's actually Monday afternoon. And um, so on uh, Saturday and a little bit today, we've been uh, cutting a few trees and helping the woods to get a little bit better looking. And uh, I just thought about how um, analogous that is to our spiritual lives. Um, you know, we've, we've had uh, a lot of undergrowth and, and trees growing into big trees and uh, for a couple of years now, but I just never seem to have the time to spend a couple of days uh, with the chainsaw and the, and the handsaw and the ax, uh, getting this stuff ready and uh, didn't have my son with me. We always had swim meets and uh, stuff to go to, different activities. And uh, all of a sudden we got a lot of time. And when we take the time it's amazing what we can accomplish, right? Well, just so we've, we've just uh, studied leading up to Easter, the celebration of discipline, uh, which talked about the spiritual disciplines of simplicity and solitude, that we needed to take some time in our spiritual lives, clean out the debris. It's amazing what uh, grows up and the vines and everything. And Jesus talked about the word is received with joy and it springs up, but the cares of life, the, uh, not just the negative, but the positive thing, the busyness of life are like weeds that uh, choke out the, the plant. And so here we are uh, thinning the weeds, so to speak, and uh, hopefully we have an opportunity um, during these few weeks that uh, we are uh, have the enforced uh, time to be set apart, and that we are still and know that, that He is God, and that we can uh, clean out some of the weeds in our spiritual lives, and maybe uh, spend a little more time with the Lord uh, maybe spend a little time reading his word or reading some spiritual books about God and spend a little time in prayer. Uh, I've pulled down a, uh, a book on Jacob and Joseph that's 1,400 pages long that I've been meaning to read for a couple of years and just never wanted to tackle a book like that of that size. And um, I'm about 200 pages in, so got a long way to go, but uh, it's a, a great opportunity to study and to pray and to uh, draw closer to Him during this time. And in that, you'll find your hope. That's the, you're not gonna find your hope on the news. You're not gonna find your hope waiting on, uh, you know, some political savior or, or person to come through, your hope is in the Lord. So spend some time with him and uh, sometimes it'll look like this as you clean up, you'll, you'll have stuff everywhere, uh, but in the long run, as you clean your spiritual house, um, you'll be the beneficiary and you'll feel closer to the Lord than you've ever felt. That's the good news for today. God bless you.